Hello and welcome to Abundantly Minimal. My name is Sarah, and today I want to take you along on a relaxing reset day. I think a reset day can be so important for us to just take some time and practice self-care when we need this, whether it's on a weekend or even if you take a mental health day off from work, I've done that before, and giving yourself the chance to really catch up on maybe things that have been neglected in the everyday hustle and bustle. For me, on a reset day, I like to sleep in later than normal, just because sometimes you don't always get the most sleep, although I have improved that recently. I also like to wear some comfy clothes, and I'll typically start by doing some tidying up right away. If I am doing some tidying, I also like to get some essential oils going in our diffuser. One of my favorite scents is grapefruit. I think it's just really bright and refreshing to have in the room and it just makes everything feel extra clean. I also tidied up the bathroom as well. So I cleaned the mirror, which had been a little while, so that was good to tackle that task. As well as wiping down counters. In this spray bottle, this is just a homemade solution of water and vinegar with a couple drops of tea tree and lime essential oils. And it works really well, very simple, all-purpose cleaner. This is just also a reused bottle. You don't have to go out and buy new bottles if you want to make your own cleaning products. You can just reuse what you already have. Assuming the product's not one that's very dangerous and tells you not to refill it on the side of the container. I brushed my hair and applied some lotion before moving on with the rest of my day. I also chose to start a load of laundry this morning, so I was washing the bedding and the towels just to get it going right away. Heading out into the kitchen, normally I go for a green smoothie in the morning, but today I felt like keeping things a little cozier, so I actually have some peppermint tea. And I'll drink some of that in between some of the tasks related to tidying things up. We did run the dishwasher last night, so I will go through and empty that out just so it's reset. I don't want there to be a bunch of dishes that pile up. I love keeping the counters as clear as possible. And if there are any extra dishes that maybe are hand wash dishes that didn't get dealt with the night before, I can take care of those. I just have this pan here from some pesto pasta we had last night. Once again, I'll wipe down counters, again, just to keep the surfaces really nice and clean. I know personally, when I have clean counters, it motivates me to cook healthier items and cook more often. Once again, I'm using the same type of cleaning product that I made, just equal parts of water and vinegar with a little bit of tea tree oil and lime essential oil. Now after doing some of this tidying up, I will typically head over to my computer. One thing I'm very excited to tell you guys about is a free gift I put together for you. It is a free three-day intentional living reset. So if you feel like this time of year is really crazy and busy, I know I have definitely felt like that in the past. 
this is a chance for you to take a little time for yourself, practice some self-care, and I've got three exclusive videos for you as well as um, each video comes with a reflection sheet with an affirmation and a couple action steps and some reflection questions to guide your thinking about that topic. The videos are super short and have some relaxing music in the background. And if you do sign up for this free reset, I actually email you the video and the corresponding sheet each day over the course of the three days. And if you don't wish to print out the worksheet, you can actually type in your answers digitally using the free Adobe Reader program. If that does sound like something you're interested in, go ahead and check out the link in the description field below. I hope you really enjoy it. It was a lot of fun to put together. After going through some of these different tasks, I've definitely worked up an appetite. So I'm going to make some steel cut oatmeal. I find oatmeal to be such an easy breakfast or lunch and just very wholesome as well. Of course, if there's not a bunch of fun things inside, it's maybe not gonna be as flavorful. So I like to add cinnamon, ground flax seed, berries of some sort. I do have fresh berries today, which pretty much never happens. I usually just use frozen, but our grocery store Meyer actually had packs of raspberries for only a dollar each. So I uh, stocked up and that's why I've got fresh ones today. Normally it's a lot cheaper to just buy the frozen ones. I also added some chopped dates, which taste incredible, especially after being on the stove top and getting all gooey and sweet. After it's done cooking, I will go ahead and drizzle in a little bit of maple syrup for some additional sweetness. As well as topping it with some additional raspberries as well as hemp seeds, which will help with the healthy fats and protein. Later on, once the laundry is done, I'll go ahead and fold up the laundry as well as I'd wash the tablecloth so I can set that out again. And I'll shift gears to tidying up the main space. I've recently been doing a lot of mind mapping and planning out for the next upcoming you know, phase of life and definitely have a lot of papers out and about here. So getting those tidied up just so the space is fresh and reset for the day. And I think one of the best possible things to do on a reset day is to do a lot of reflection. Maybe for you that looks like doing some journaling or a brain dump. If you've got a lot of ideas swirling around in your head, maybe you're reflecting about your schedule or some larger to-do list tasks that need to happen. So I think taking the time to reflect and figure out kind of where you're going with things is a really helpful component as well. Thank you so much for joining me for today's reset day. 
I hope you found this helpful and relaxing, and I also hope you enjoy that free intentional living reset that I put together for you. If you'd like to check out any past videos, you can do so here, as well as subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Have a great day.